Hey guys, it's Jack, and today I'm going to show you how to add voiceovers to your video. Voiceovers are one of the most important and useful tools you can use and add in a video. I often speak over B-roll footage in my own personal videos. I also use them in nearly every single one of these videos. During the tutorial sections, you'll see that I'm always voiceovering. I'm even going to use a voiceover today to teach you how to voiceover. And they can even be used for comedy videos. You know, you can fake dub over original videos. My mind goes to the honey badger video. This is the honey badger. Watch it run in slow motion. And of course, voiceovers are really useful as well if you forget to say something in the recording process, that's really important. So today I'm gonna show you guys how to add and record a voiceover to your videos, and also how to make your voiceovers sound the best through a little bit of audio editing tips. But I'm also gonna show you guys how you can make voiceovers by cloning your voice and using text-to-speech AI technology that will take a sample of your voice and then clone your voice so you can type in anything and then make voiceovers that sound like you without actually recording anything just by typing in text. Like this voiceover, which is a text-to-speech layer that uses my voice clone. So for instance, I've cloned my voice so I can add voiceovers to videos just by typing in case I forget to record something or just don't have access to my equipment. So if you're interested in learning how that's possible and how to do that yourself, make sure to stay to the end of the video, but let's get into it. All right, you guys, so the first thing you're gonna do is click the first link in the description and it'll take you to kapwing.com's record voice page. Just go ahead and click get started and it'll automatically open the record tab on the left. From here, you can click the record audio button. This will be the most relevant if you're just doing an audio voiceover, not video. Then you're gonna wanna allow Kapwing to use your microphone, and then it'll give you a dropdown of different microphones that you can use. So from here, because I have continuity camera on my iPhone and I'm using a Mac, it automatically allows me to use my iPhone microphone if I want, any external mics that you have, or of course, any built-in mics that you have. I definitely recommend using your best microphone that you have possible. Obviously, audio I think is oftentimes even more important than video, so just use the best quality you have possible. Now, if you're reading from a script, what you can do is click the open teleprompter button and it'll open up this little window and you can go ahead and type in your script. So here I have this little teleprompter. I added just a fake little script and then when I'm ready, I can just click record. Hello there, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about how to add voiceovers to your videos. Then when you're done, you can just stop recording and it will populate in the Kapwing timeline. So obviously because this is just an audio recording, you don't have any video on the canvas, but let's go ahead and add some B-roll here just so that makes more sense. So I'm just adding in some video in case you need some video to accompany the audio. So to do that, you can just go to videos and use these royalty-free videos. And yeah, it's really as simple as that for the recording process. Now, if you want to edit and improve the quality of the audio, what you can do is a few things. So firstly, just click on the audio clip that you want to edit and it'll pop up with a few different options. So firstly, you can use clean audio, which will automatically reduce background noise and enhance the audio quality. So you can just click apply clean audio and then it'll start to process. Another great tool we have is Smart Cut. So this will automatically edit out all the silences in your audio. So you don't have to rough cut manually as much. So what is highlighted red will be deleted. So I can just do that and then click done. And now you can see that all of that cutting is done for me. I can also add a waveform to the audio if I'd like by clicking convert to waveform. I just need to bring these to the front because this video layer is in front of this. And then I can move these layers down if I wanted to have an audiogram. This is helpful for things like podcasts etc. But I'm just going to delete these now and show you something completely different, which is how to make a voiceover that sounds like my own voice through something called voice cloning. So what voice cloning is, is you record a piece of audio and then AI is able to use your sample voice and then you're able to just use text to speech to type in anything you want said as a voiceover and it will sound like you but you don't actually have to do any recording yourself because you've already recorded your voice clone previously. So pretty much you're able to create amazing voiceovers that sound like you just by typing. In order to use this feature you have to have either a business or enterprise plan so if you're interested in that 
Be sure to check out kapwing.com slash pricing. But if you do want to use this, what you have to do is go to the audio tab on the left here and then go to the text to speech tab. And what you're going to want to do is click add voice clone. So then you can go ahead and name your voice. So I will say Jack's voiceover. And here you have a few options. So number one, you can upload videos that you already have or pieces of audio. This is great, especially if you have a specific clip where you were using an amazing microphone. The higher quality microphone you have for this, the more realistic it will sound like you and the more high fidelity it will sound. Because if you're using a really cheap microphone and it sounds really tinny, when AI duplicates that voice, it will sound the same way. So if you've been on a podcast or you've done an interview and you used a really great microphone, definitely upload those samples and you can just upload them right here. You want to upload at least one to five minutes of sample material. But if you don't have that, you can also go to the record sample button down here and click that. Then use the drop down menu to pick your microphone. Once again, pick the best microphone that you have. And then you can click show script and then you can read this script that it gives you over and over again until you have recorded at least two to three minutes of content. So I can click record. This is a recording of what my voice sounds like. Text-to-speech voiceovers are a really powerful tool for content creators in various fields. Then if it's good, it will appear here. If you record for too short of amount of time, you'll get an error message asking you just to go for longer. And then you need to confirm that you are the owner of this voice or have explicit permission to clone the voice and that you won't use the voice clone for anything illegal or hateful, and then click the clone button. Then it will process your voice. Then you just want to go back to the text-to-speech tab and you can write whatever you want. So you can say, hello world, today I am going to show you how to use a voice clone. And then you'll just want to go down here to the voice drop-down and you'll see, of course, all of these other voiceovers, but you'll also see my voice, Jack's voiceover that I just recorded at the top here. And go ahead and click that. You can get a preview of the voice by clicking on the play button next to the name. Automatically turn your text into speech with an AI generated voice. So I'll just click that and then click generate. And then you can see it just added that generation here. So now we can listen to how it sounds when I asked it to say this text. Hello world. Today, I'm going to show you how to use a voice clone. It sounds a lot like me, I think. Pretty, pretty cool. So now you can add voiceovers to your videos that sound like you just by doing a few minutes of work recording and cloning your voice. And I never have to do that again. Now I can do this whenever I want and create voiceovers super easily without even recording anything live. So of course, when you're done with your project, you can click the export project button and get that all wrapped up and downloaded. All right, you guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope this was helpful and interesting to you. Make sure to subscribe to the channel to keep up with other tutorials and tips and tricks videos like this one. And I'll see you guys in the next one.